Now we will talk about the static analysis. We said before that static testing consists of two types, the review process, and we talked about it in the last two videos, and static analysis. So what is static analysis? Static analysis is something that the tools perform for us, and its goal is to find defects in the code, the software code. So obviously, the developer is the one who performs the static analysis, okay? It is typically used by developers and designers. Static analysis means that the compiler or the IDE that the programmer writes his code in produces warning messages if it sees some problems in the code, okay? These warning messages are a lot, so the developer needs to manage them well and know which messages need to be solved and which needs to be ignored. Like we said, compilers offer some support for static analysis, but sometimes we need more tools to perform static analysis. What is the value of static analysis? It detects defects early. It finds defects that are not easily found in dynamic testing. It improves the maintainability of the code and the design. And of course, it prevents defects. So what are the types of defects that we can discover in static analysis? For example, if we have a variable like integer x and we don't give it a value, okay? It has undefined value. If there is an inconsistent interface between modules and components, if we have a variable which is not used or improperly declared, for example, integer x equals 2.5, okay? Integers should only hold integer values like 1, 2, 3, not 2.5. If we have unreachable or dead code, infinite loops, if there are some complicated constructs in our code, if we violated the programming standards, some languages have standards in writing code, you should follow them, okay? If there are some security vulnerabilities, and if you violated the syntax, all these defects are found using static analysis tools.